Hello again, tis the season to be filing, and for hackers, it's the season to be taking. Taxpayers are being warned to remain vigilant as e-filing profile hacks are on the rise. Fraudsters are gaining access to accounts and targeting those waiting for refunds. Tax Consulting SA is warning taxpayers to monitor their e-filing profiles for any suspicious activity. Let's find out what to look out for from Tax Compliance and Processing Manager Nicholas Bortha. Uh, Nicholas, good afternoon. Thanks for joining us uh, on ENCA. First up, how, how prevalent are uh, e or tax filing or tax profile hackings or hijackings? Most certainly. Thanks, thanks, thanks for having me here. Um, we've seen quite a rampant rise, um, as, as indicated by SARS themselves. Um, and it's no longer that 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 uh, Mickey Mouse scam. You know, it's it's a bit more complex. Um, so as as we see that the technology is advancing, um, so is is the 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 hackers. You know, um, and and the cyber criminals. Um, so it's no longer just a, a phishing spam. Um, it's it's far more advanced. Where guys are actually accessing um, taxpayers' individual profiles. Um, and they're doing so targetedly, you know. Um, they're going for those at risk, those that they can see that, that have refunds, um, expats that might not be uh, always on top of their, their, their profile. So it has um, quite escalated quite, quite drastically with the upcoming tax season. So what can taxpayers and tax practitioners do? Uh, what kind of steps can they take in order to protect uh, themselves and to make sure that the e-filing profiles of their clients and their own as tax practitioners are not harmed? No, certainly. So, I mean, uh, quite, quite important is obviously to, to follow SARS guidelines, you know, uh, make sure that you have a, a robust uh, password, um, you've got your, your e-filing details that are always up to date and, and monitored, um, and then constant vigilance, you know. Um, from our perspective, I mean, we're quite a large practice. Um, it's, it's impossible for us to manually check all our clients' uh, uh, databases constantly. Um, so we're also employing our own um, um, uh, into, uh, uh, tools, you know, to, to monitor this for us automatically. Um, so we've got a tax check system that, that we recommend for both practitioners and for individuals um, that you're just getting a report um, that that's, uh, that's all, is checking these these items for you. Um, and and it, it really just remains to, to vigilance, checking your profile um, and, and making sure that there's, there's no funny business going on there. If I see that there's some business going on there, what can I do? Um, so if you've got um, uh, anything out of the ordinary, um, definitely contact a tax professional, you know, um, have them have a double look for you. Um, also inform SARS, you know, um, because ultimately the, the, the burden is always on the taxpayer. So even if someone has hacked into your profile, they've now gotten a fortune refund paid out to them. Um, SARS is going to see it uh, from a face value of, of, of you doing it, you know, um, and that can lead to a long court case and a long debate. Um, so definitely be proactive there, um, jump on top of it uh, and, and inform the authorities as well. Now, so some of us would use a tax practitioner, some people would do that, and I may have shared my access um, uh, 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 logging details, uh, whatever they are called, with a tax practitioner. Uh, what should I expect him or her to do to protect my information? So you definitely need a, a vigilant tax pr uh, uh, practitioner, you know. Um, the majority of the time, a tax practitioner is going to have their own profile um, where you have uh, full access to that profile and the practitioner has shared access to that profile. So so the, the SARS wants that in place so that you have full control um, and, and then important to, to verify them, you know, a tax practitioner and, and the and employees should always be compliant. So um, one nice thing that, that we have is that we show our compliance to our clients um, because you don't want to take advice from someone who themselves is not compliant. Um, so it's, it's just thorough vetting there um, and they should also have good uh, IT skills and IT practices in place within the organization. Yeah, there's so much that's happening in this cyber security space. I mean, uh, sometimes you think that the, the criminals are like five, six steps ahead. Uh, I guess staying informed is important, but where to find the trustworthy information is, is another uh, uh, issue to bear in mind. Uh, what are your thoughts there, Nicholas? You're 100% you're correct. So, I mean, those phishing spams themselves have become quite advanced, you know, the, 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 the fraudulent requests mirror SARS requests. 
Um, so they're definitely becoming clever. Um, and that's where you need to equip yourself. You know, um, we are in that modern world where AI is advancing, technology is advancing. Um, and as that advances, so do the criminals. So it's just to, to be on top, equip yourself, um, and make sure, uh, I always recommend at least a second opinion, you know. Um, so if you're getting advisory that you're unsure about, do your research, um, get a second opinion, um, and, and just make sure that, that, that you're doing what's right for you. Yeah, are you aware if SARS on its part is doing its, its own security protection for all taxpayers, for its tax base? Yes, definitely. Um, SARS is, is quite on top of that. Um, so SARS themselves has started with, with um, AI developments on their system. Um, we constantly see SARS um, sending messages that their IT software is being updated. Um, so we definitely see them as, as doing their, their very best to, to update their systems. Um, but always with, with the world we live in, nothing's ever perfect, you know. Um, and that's why we recommend just doing the, 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 the monitoring yourself or partnering with someone that, that does have those systems in place. Um, and, and, and building off them. Okay, thank you very much. Nicholas Porta, he's from uh, uh, SA, uh, Tax Consulting SA, just giving some tips there ahead of the filing season because there has been a rise in fraudsters gaining access to accounts and targeting, especially those who are waiting for tax refunds from SARS. So please be vigilant. And uh, I think the tax season is going to start somewhere in the middle of July.